Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Things felt like I'm ready to bend. I'm a 10, so I pull in a 10. Like, Jazzy, face little rough right now out the blue but for today's video i'm gonna be turning into a bad bitch okay like new wig okay nails toes lashes all of that y'all i'm waiting for my wig um it should be coming in the mail today i'm gonna do my nails tomorrow and i think i'm gonna do my toes tonight and then i just have to figure out room to do my lashes basically okay i'm at first, I was like, this is not my wig, but it came in a cute little silk bag, and that's so cute because I, okay, but they gave me a free wig silk bag, like, that's so nice. I'm already loving, okay, inches. Yes, you know. But... This is nice. Nice and soft. I love the brown. I like that it's not doing too much. And I like that the baby hairs are brown. We got all this lace. It even came with one of these. Which I'm not used to having one of these to be honest. Okay, so I know how I'm supposed to do the thickness and stuff. So I'm going to cut the powder in first and then add the liquid so I know how I want my consistency to be. Uh, now that it's in here, this is not looking like enough powder. It's not. And as a person who likes wigs, I, sh I, don't, I honestly think I should just buy that big thing of bleach because my developer lasts me for a while, but it'd be the powder. But y'all, this is... This is not enough powder. Maybe for the hairline, but... Okay, so I usually get my wig and I flip it inside out and apply it like that. But I'm going to be doing it differently. And I'm officially almost out of soap. I've been waiting so I can put my cute one from Bath & Body Works out. Anyways, this was the leftover um, powder from my other one. I don't think I'm going to need that much powder. If I'm being honest, sometimes if I feel like my wig didn't get bleached to my liking, I low-key like to re-bleach because um, I tested it out one of my wigs and it didn't ruin it. So since then, I've been re-bleaching my wigs because I never saw anything on YouTube. I'm not going to cap. I really don't mind bleaching on my wigs for like an hour. And I kind of want like a thick paste. But nothing too watery, if that makes sense. it's like this but you can pick it up and eventually it will fall it's not watery but it's not too thick okay so i got a plastic spoon and i got this to put on the wig for after and then i'm just gonna brush through it and make sure it's um nice and detangled okay so pretty much i'm gonna do it like this and i'm just putting bleach all around the lace Still a fan, even though it's salty. Need to see you walking around the bed. Are you happy? Need to see you happy if I'm not the one. Okay, guys, so I went. As you can see, I have extra, but oh well. As you can see, I'm trying to show you guys. So. But this right here, I pushed it more in so it could really just look like scalp. Um, I kind of had it like sitting up a certain way because I don't like want it to fall or nothing. But I'm going to let this sit. It's literally already changing 
like I said, literally, honestly, the more you leave it on, the more the knots are going to be gone. So I'm going to check on this in like 40 minutes. So I'm going to, well, we'll do 30 to be safe. And I'm just looking at the knots and they look so good. Like I'm not even seeing no knots, y'all. I feel like this wig is about to be giving skin. Okay. Mm. I was gonna wash it in my shower, but I think I'm just washing it in my sink. So, cause my water does get pretty hot. So I'm gonna wash the bleach off, and then I'm gonna put this conditioner in my hair, and then that's pretty much it. Um, but let me show you guys my toes. as you see i just woke up so far my toes are done i bleached the knots to my wig but if i'm being honest i still have to pluck the wig y'all better for it to actually give what it's supposed to give so i think i'm just gonna wait until tomorrow because i think tomorrow is a lash day and i might not really have no clients yet because my last lash day i have four clients so I reposted my new lash availability kind of last minute, so I feel like no one booked for the most recent day. So that kind of leaves me with, like, a free day because I told you guys I have no off days. I just work, 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 and I go based off if I have slow days. I have a client coming literally in, like, 20 minutes, so I have to clean, get ready, all of that. But um, after um, she leaves, depending on if I have time or not, um, I do want to do my hair, to be honest. And also, uh, when I went shopping, I did buy some more wax strips for my wax kit machine or whatever. So I will be waxing my little mustache and my eyebrows. okay guys so hair is done okay i did my baby hairs now mm -hmm. yeah put in my new earrings per i'm about to go make some tiktoks and then i think i'm gonna braid my hair and put it up because i think i made that mistake with my last curly wig i just was not detangling it before bed but i love this um because i really wanted a cute fall wig but i can't get nothing too brown because the baby hairs won't show up on my skin tone but yeah so cute i'm so ready to take some pictures um while i was waiting for like my wig cap to dry in between while i was waiting for the glue to dry i decided to clean my room so now I have a clean room too, and as you can see, I have a candle lit. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I just have to do my nails and my lashes and just wax, and I'm pretty much done. A billion dollars on an elevator. Goddamn, goddamn, goddamn! Mama taught me good home training, but daddy taught me how to love my haters. My sister told me I should speak my mind. My man made me feel so bad.
nothing strong at all, baby. I see that we're falling off lately. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page. In my mind, I'm down by this. In your heart, you keep trying. And the truth is not hiding. That's okay, guys. So I'm officially feeling like that bitch i did my brows i did not realize how much they needed done like because i'm trying this new shape so my eyebrows were still growing out my natural shape so i literally had to shave like a whole bunch of hair up because i noticed how thicker my eyebrow still was but you know princess girly nails so cute y'all and then my lashes, you know, I had to put that pink in there. Hold up, this one's like... But... And then, yeah. And then I also waxed my mustache, y'all. So, when I was waxing, I kind of waxed some of my baby hairs away. But that is okay. Um, also, you know, I made a candle. So, pretty much, there's glitter, as you can see. The top, um, I was trying to make it look like snow, and then the bottom is this mm, peppermint candle at the bottom, and then I had put in some wax melters so it could look like a candy cane when it started melting, which you can kind of see through there, but I feel like it looks so cute. Yeah, y'all, I'm going to show you guys my outfit that I'm planning on wearing. Is hating me won't make you pretty with this black skirt because it matches obviously and then just remembered I have this like this black juicy purse that I could take pics with too because it'll match my outfit and then there's a lot of room too so I'm happy about that but we're trying to figure out what I want to wear for my shoes I was looking for these black sandals I had but actually, I think they're in my suitcase. I remember I wore them out of town. And if that's the case, they're probably super dirty. I don't know, to be honest, I think I'm going to wear these black ones because they have a bow on it. And I feel like I can, like, kind of see a prediction. So, I think I'm just going to wear these. I need to start buying me those clip-on bows. What the heck? I bought me ribbon thinking that would do me enough justice. But sometimes it don't be. But, yeah, y'all, I'm about to get dressed. And then, oh my god, the candle's so cute. It literally just looks like a big snowball. Okay guys, so that's the end of the video. I just got back from the store by the way and I took some pictures and I got some cute yes, stuff. I just have to show you guys this bag because I'm so obsessed. I think it looks better without the straps, which I'm gonna be taking them off so it looks just like a tote bag itself. But it's so cute. I like how it complements my hair and it goes with a lot of outfits. And I also got like that new Juicy robe, so cute. Um, oh, and I got some Juicy Couture sheets for my bed. And it comes with some pillowcases, which I'm happy about because my dogs have been scratching up my velvet pillowcases, which is why I have them like turned around. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you made it to the end, you're a real one. I hope you guys have a nice day or night. Bye.